It's all in my head. Bingo. Yeah, my brave boy. I'm not gonna let you go. For the stall. Oh! If you if you focus on landing here, your board's gonna come up. Whoa! All right. Oh! Did oh. <laughs> you're doing 50-50 grinds now, boy? <laughs> yes. Did I just say last run? <laughs> oh. Wow! Right guys, good morning. We're back, we're back again today. School is back in session. We're out on a weekday, we're pretty fired up about it. However, it's nine o'clock, 9.10, and it's 85 degrees out here in Austin, Texas. 85 degrees in Austin, Texas in August feels like 105 if you're somewhere dry like Cali. So it's gonna be a little rough. I'm really excited about getting full throttle into this as soon as the weather cools down. And for us, that's sometimes around Halloween. So we got a little while, but it'll get better and better. And uh, you know what? We're gonna get some right now. So boom, let's do this. Got the stinger. Um, <clears throat> this is my first run of the day. I haven't even stood on the board yet. I haven't even stretched, so let's get some. I stretch a muscle in my quad. <laughs> I'm gonna say I stretch a muscle in my quad instead of strained a muscle in my quad. Whew. When I got into that feeble, I knew that could end bad. But I feel like it was the thought that created that reality. I really do. Huh. Let's, uh, let's not end on that note. Let's try that again. Let's get a couple stalls. I'm already, I feel way more warmed up now. There's a go, guy. Man, I feel like the coping needs wax. It typically is frowned upon, but man, it does not feel slick. I, I, I want to do a front side stall. Terrified. Ter it's been it's been a long time, uh, and for for real, it's been two years, at least a year. Like it's that's real sticky. This must get waxed. Let me try it down here. Let me try it down here. Huh, that feels, feels better, but man, it feels sticky over there. I wonder if I have any wax. That feels way better. Let's see what this sounds like over here. All right, let's just see if I can do it. Maybe I'm just tripping myself out. This is how you give uh, power to the skeletons. You know, you start to tell yourself, you're, uh, you go ahead and you feed the matrix, and the matrix, that side of the matrix wants to kill you. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Boy, it feels sticky. Whoa! <laughs> matrix or not. Matrix or orange juice on the pipe? Huh. That feels nasty. I want to get some wax. Let me go see if someone has some wax. 
guys, guys, so, bingo. Always a skateboarder willing to help you out. Let's do this, huh? Thank you, thank you to money. Um, so, Northeast Metro, this is my house. So what you're gonna see me do here, for most of you, is seriously frowned upon. Don't just go to a bowl that isn't your house and wax a Kobe. Um, since this is my house, I feel I have the need. that should do it I don't typically wax coping so we'll see if I overdid it or not yeah Boom. all right I might have to uh might have to take it a little easy and see what that does to the coping out here <laughs> what the hell I know I haven't been skating that much but give me a break what is that I come into an immediate feeble. It did slide though, didn't it? It actually, it actually moved pretty easy. Oh boy. Oh man. so smooth I couldn't tell perfectly if my wheel was on top or not this is very slick I wonder I waxed it from here that might really throw me off let me uh, let me do one of my normal runs and I'll try to come into it a little cautiously just to see That was actually nuts. I felt like I came in on a hot frying pan, for real. That was so slick. Um, I'm glad I stayed calm. I'm glad I committed to the grind. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, I'm gonna make a post on IG for the locals that I waxed this coping today. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Man, I put such a small amount of wax on it. So, uh, note to Everybody who goes to the bowl to skate, uh, don't wax the coping. Don't wax the coping. That's too much. Uh, that spray, salva sauce, that's probably a better way to go. Maybe I should keep one of those in the car. Maybe not in Texas summer. <laughs> that could be sketchy. All right, let's do some more runs. Let's do something different. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. Guys that came over, <clears throat> new subscribers from the Andy video. Um, the, <clears throat> that's the reason I have this groove. If I would have hit wax coping with no groove in it and without relying on a typical cross lock on that piece of coping, that would have spelled disaster. But because of this, I locked right in and I skimmed it for a long way. That, that, 
That's a testament to Prodigal Son's innovation or goal wing. I robbed it, it's goal wing. Did I just say last run? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's do one more. Oh man, you see what happened? Did that, did that look obvious? I was way too weighted over my front. And so when I hit the wall, it slowed me down a lot. I was like leaning forward too much. All right, last one. If I don't make it, it has to wait till next weekend. Yeah, I gotta have another water. This time, I'm gonna try to go faster. Whoa, all right. Oh. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm out, that was a sign right there. All right, Kelly, I need water, dude, stat. I think it's kind of serious, actually. We got any leather workers in the audience? Um, I'd like it if someone could make one of these out of good leather material. Can anybody do that? Um, I've thought about kind of reverse engineering this size for me. Not really like for a business, but I feel like it's uh, outside my talent some. I, uh, I did buy some leather working stuff. I made a holster for an old 38 Special. And uh, honestly, the very first attempt, I feel like is a holster that um, I could actually sell. It, it came out really good. Black with red stitching, it looks sick. I uh, had it so it's got like a lower carry position on your hip so that if you're a little bit fatter uh, it's not in your way and it's kind of angled nice to keep the to keep the grip out of your way as well it, it really is a beautiful beautiful holster but um, what I really want is a wrist guard like those you know I know it can't be exactly but uh, like those and if somebody were to do that and think in the in the in the way of making a business out of it uh, hook me up with a set and I will surely advertise your wrist guards um, you know in every video really yeah I'll show them off all the time so much that you get sick of it but anyway all right I'm gonna take a little bit of time to cool off down a bottle of water man I can't even see and uh, then I'm going to film some clips of Killian. I know he's working on the stall. I think he's right there. We're limiting our sessions to, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes today. Um, we're all going to do a session. Um, but uh, I overdid it by about 45 minutes. So I need to sweat. Anyway, this is signing out for my portion. Killian is next. We're gonna have Seth at the end. Check out Killian's pants, dude. He's got the uh, the OG flesh gear. Yeah, come on, come on, turn. Look at the hip pads. It's got hip pads. It's got some tailbone pads. Let's see the back. Tailbone pads. Got that sick flesh gear logo. You guys remember flesh gear? I was a big motocross guy back in my Cali days. Had a freestyle park in my backyard with a nine foot ramp and a bunch of jumps had a dozer yeah it was pretty epic but that's where the motocross pants come from that's that board's got a 16 16 inch wheelbase and uh he's 100 pounds dudes he's 100 pounds in 5.2 um those are 10 inch slappy trucks so he's he's doing it right he's doing it right um dude you got the anno bolts too i noticed guys guys oh geez i noticed they have rail plugs um the sex bolts i bought some they're gold anodized looking well they're aluminum but they're gold um on the deck side and they look to be a little heavy duty 
over the ones I bought last time. They give you 20 in a pack at Brand X and uh, for $5, dude. $5 for 20. I bought two packs with shipping. It cost me $16 and I'm going to have 40 of those bolts so in an upcoming video on a board soon. This pig must have ate too much Taco Bell. He said it looks like this pig here on the board must have had Taco Bell because he's looking like he got liquid gang. He had Taco Bell with Sriracha. Not Sriracha, Da Bomb. We've been watching that show Hot Ones. Shout out to you guys, dude. What a good show that is. All right, Killy. Let's hit it, my guy. Let's hit it. Ooh. Oh, looking steezy. I can't wait till this guy decides he's gonna learn to kickflip. Dude, you came in hot with the side of the shits on that one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that came in. Where that came from. Seth's got me thinking about Liquid Gang. Liquid Gang, bro. I ain't had Taco Bell in probably 15 years. roll into it dude you got this you're totally not going right angle for a stall though I know. all you got to do is make your down approach more deliberate you know you could do your if you round out your um slash grind real wide you, you're gonna it's gonna bring you real wide and that's almost a sketchy turn doing it like that do your slash grind a little sharper you know Yeah! Oh yeah! That was no touch, boys. That was no touch. Woo! Does he get it? Does he get it? Almost, almost. Hit it again, hit it again. Right there. Oh, that's a good spot to do a second stall, dude. That will look nice. What? He says to me, do I think it's the board? What do you think about that board? I like it. Is it the best board you rode? It is. Guys, so, so check that out. You think because, you know, your peers, because your pros, the guys that you choose to follow and, and pedestalize, um, they all ride something smaller. How do you know, man? This kid's 5'2 and 100 pounds, and he's having his best sessions ever on this board. You know, he just got off a, a 9.25 9 board that I call Frankenstein, and now all of a sudden he's moved in from you know nine inch trucks to 10 inch trucks and he's loving it better than anything else um obviously if he goes to street skate i'll give him another setup for i'm not going to put him on that board to learn to street skate there's no reason why we can't have more than one board right come on come on if i'm going to ride a mini ramp i'm going to ride a different setup than i do in the bulls but if i want to go fast get it Oh, you're cut. Oh, dude, you're doing 50 50 grinds now, boy. Oh, oh, see if he gets that stall at the end. Yeah, that was a nice one, too. Here he goes. Pump the hip right into the back for the stall. Oh, oh that was epic. Woo, dude, that was so good. You got me pumped now, dude. Hey, kill, hey, Seth, your brother's earning cheese fries, bro. Okay, that's all you got to say? Okay? Or you, you say, congrats, Killy. Thank you, Killy. If he gets it, cheese fries. Cheese fries, and you know what? Shakes for you guys if he does it. Oh, man. That raises the bar.
Here we go. Oh, nice slash. Into it, into it, into it, into a feeble. Oh, I don't blame you. You could have pulled into that, but what's the point? Just do it over. It could look a lot better if you just... I mean, that was almost a feeble grind, kind of. All right, dude, you only got like one or two more runs left, so... Here he goes. Here he goes. Let's get it. Beautiful. Dude, if you stayed... If you stayed leaning... If you just... If you just focused on hitting it at this angle right here, you're gonna go right around and come right back in. Dude, you're gonna pull your first 50-50 grind stand up. Like I guarantee you, it, it, it takes a little bit of cojones to do it. But, um, and what's most likely gonna happen, if you, angle, if you angle yourself, this is what I'm trying to explain to him, guys. If he angles himself as he's coming up, instead of like trying to get here, if he comes up and gets here, all that momentum he has is going to bring him up that's the problem when you get up here with that momentum it carries you outside the bowl you step off you do this you guys know you do this for like a year what so i just lean in yeah no what what you do as you come up put your focus on landing here and not going here if you focus on landing here you're bored like this what if you if you focus on landing here your board's going to come up and you're going to slide up. And then your balance is going to be perfect. That's what happens. It's just, it's weird to make, it's weird to make your body do it. I feel it when, the times when I do my sickest grinds, I'm coming in hot here and I'm focusing on the face of the wall. And when I hit the face, that's when I get all my wheels off. I'm in that groove. I'm at a 45 degree angle just soaring. At that point, when you're pivoting like that, it's real easy to decide to put your, your wheels on the deck, but your body, the force of your body hits it angled and it brings you up so that you're not thrown off the, off the wall like what's happening. Hey, uh, just do it. Just do it. I already, I already saw you, you pull this off. Oh, he wanted a high five. I didn't see that until it was too late. Beautiful. Oh, you did it. You did what I said. You just forgot cautious. I don't blame you. Now try it this time. I don't blame you for feeling that way because it does feel weird, but it, it is a hack. It is a hack for grinding. It's a hack for cross locking too because if you're trying to deck it and you want to cross lock your wheels, it's never going to happen for you. And that's part of what happened to me. We got the high five. This is it. This is it right here. This is it. This is the one. Six slash. Oh! <laughs> get it! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, so epic. All right, get this last one. Cheese fries and shakes, boy. Does he get this one? Mmm, it's not really on his radar, but I keep waiting for the day. Here we go. Wow! All right, dude. You earn it. You earn it full Hilt, milt, tilt, dill. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm pretty sure it means I open my wallet at in and out for these guys. All right, Seth, let's go. All right, you remember it? Yeah, my brave boy. I'm not gonna let you go. There you go. You hear that guys? He's like, I don't think I needed your hand. I feel like I should hold his hand another time. What do you think? I think maybe one more time. One more time? Yeah. Right. Woo! That time, I just gave him my thumb so he puts his hand like this. And I never, I never, I never squeeze his hand at all. And I think when he, he dropped in, he, you got a little shaky on that one. Why'd that happen? I don't know. Probably, be, maybe you didn't bend your knees enough. Let's be reminded when you drop in, 
kind of want to have your knees bent at the beginning and that'll help if you, if you drop in too straight leg that could be a reason you could do something like that so let's hold your hand one more time that was good so you, you, what you're going to do is when you get your foot up you're going to you're going to bend your knees a little more i'm going to hold your hand Bend your knees, stop getting afraid. Don't do that, go. Better, better. Wow, you just got a shark fight, jump up. You have two options. You have two options about how you feel about this. You can either let yourself get freaked out or you can just grab the bull by the horns and just do it. Man up, man. Cowboy up, dude. Go. Perfect, perfect. Stay on the board too. See that time, you really put your foot down on it. You know, it wasn't just a glide. You really did it. And that that changed that so much, so much that you were comfortable staying on the board and riding it out a little longer. So. All right, no hand. No hand. You got this. You got this. But remember. I feel like it was too wiggly. Go here. Okay, go ahead, you're good. No, you got this. Daddy will catch you, there's nothing to be scared of. Keep your knees bent, put the board down, do your job. All right, do it again. So you did it perfect, but I was ready to catch you and I didn't need to be. You did it perfect. If you got your pads on, just remember, don't you just do what you've been doing. I don't even want to tell you anything because you're doing it really good. You got it, you got it. Put your foot, this is the way we used to do it, right? Yeah, there it's more stable there. Woo! All right, let's go eat. That's good for me. Let me see this. All right, guys, so that's been months for him since he's been out here and did that the last time you guys know if you don't fully learn it you almost come back and and get more scared so i'm happy for seth that's an accomplishment um he's been trying to learn wheelies too we want all three of the boys to be able to do some wheelies so you know what living at our house um isn't like a lot of you possibly uh i expect my kids to conquer their fear. I want to teach them these things. I feel like it's really important. So I think to any young fathers out there, we need men in the world. There's been too much feminization in America and we are going back to the old school, whether you see it or not. You may not be seeing it in your, in your group, but it's happening across the world. Let's get the eat on, peace.